hello guys welcome back and um, i'm back again today with um, one really uh, very easy and cool um, algorithm that i'm gonna show and i'll also teach you how to write this how to um, uh, test it uh, it's it's very i mean and as you can see you know i have got my um, text editor and i've been working on some um, cool projects um, using python so you know did not get a chance to post this video before but now uh, this is a really simple one and i'm uh, hoping to keep this easy the intention here is to um, make you understand um, how easy it is to work in python and see if you can build something for yourself so happy learning let's let's get started um, so what I'm going to show today is is how to uh, derive a leap, leap year. Um, as you know, uh, finding a leap year is one of highly misunderstood concept. Uh, there's a lot of um, um, things that goes around to derive exactly how a leap year is calculated. It's not just as simple like, you know, you divide by four and then if the um, result is zero, that means it's a leap year. It's not because I will show you in this example that there are exceptions uh, that cannot be, uh, that cannot be um, caught just using by dividing by four. So before I do, let me do this. I'll just try to um walk you through the algorithm that i have and then we'll uh, run it and then see how things work so before we do that um so this is how a typical leap year is calculated um you take any year uh, the one that you need to uh, determine if that's a leap year or not and um basically um, i'm not going to show you any flow chart so i'll just keep it simple and short so you know uh, you know uh, you understand you get the um, concept uh, basically if any year is divided is divisible by 400 so let's say if i'm able to divide uh, any year with 400 and if i get a reminder of zero that means it's a leap year straight away you know no if no buts just that's a leap year uh, but in case if the year is not exactly divisible divisible by 400 and that leaves a reminder so if you go to the next check that says uh, is that year divisible by 100 so the second check is is that year divisible by 100 if the answer is yes uh, you know that year is exactly divisible by 100 and you don't get a reminder that means it's not a leap year so in the first case we said if it's exactly div divisible by 400 it's a leap year uh, next i'm saying in case if the year is not divisible by 400 then you divide it by 100 and here pay attention the reminder should not be zero if the reminder is zero it means that the year is not a leap it's not a leap year so now the second check is we divide the year by 100 and let's assume the reminder is it's a non-zero then we move to the third check uh, just to make sure you know the year is really leap and here we divide it by four and if the reminder is a zero that means it's a leap year else it's not a leap year so let's put this in a code and see how this works so uh, i'll just copy this i actually want to write the code and show you how this works so i'll just go and open a new python file and guys in case if you need any help um how to set this up uh, please do leave a, leave a comment and then I'll, I'll be more than happy to record another video and then show it to you how i got everything configured and set up so let's say let's call this as a leap year calculator all right so i just got the uh, uh, the algorithm that we just discussed so we basically if we get the year we divide it by 400 if it's uh, it's perfectly divisible by 400 that straight away means it's a leap year if not then we go do the next check we look we divide by 100 
if it's again perfectly divisible by 100 then that's not a leap year if not then we go and do a third check where we go and divide the year by uh, third number third that's four and based on the outcome uh, we uh, derive if it's a leap year or not so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the year uh, as input and uh, i'll probably i'll also walk you through what i'm doing here so i say i take input input and then it will be enter the year you want to check okay so basically what i'm trying to do is i'm asking for the input year that you want to check and then i'm converting that into an integer because you know if you remember uh, <coughs> input gives usually gives <coughs> a string so i'm just trying to convert this make sure that the input that we get is converted back into here and you can check this if you want you know, using a type you can do print uh, type and then it should usually uh, give you um, the type of the variable but this in this case we don't need to do that since we are already uh, converting this into a year now uh, once we have the year um, <coughs> Uh, as you you know as you saw um, i'll change the sequence of these steps a little bit um, so what i'm gonna do is i will check if this year is divisible uh, by 400 and then i'm gonna divide this with using a modulus or moduli operator so uh, just a quick note i'm not actually dividing what basically what this operator gives me is if there is any reminder left over by division let's say um for instance let me show you here what i mean by that so let's say if i do um four um moduli two i should get a zero because there is nothing left but if i do four moduli three I will get one because you know if you divide four by three you get one as a reminder so basically that's what i'm trying to do so i'm going to uh, check if this year is exactly divisible by 400 then i'm also going to check if is divisible by 100 because that's the next check we are going to do um, by 100 and the third one will be is divisible by four and we take the year divided by four all right so basically what what this will give me this will tell me is uh, if the year is uh, divisible by any of these three factors or three numbers that we are going to validate now once we have the result i mean you can obviously print and see uh, the results uh, but uh, now we, this is, is the actually um, algorithm or the code or the logic that uh, will tell if the year is um, um, a leap or not so what i'm going to do i'll start with if and if i'll check is divisible by 400 and if the result of this is zero i mean which means that the year is exactly divisible by by 400 without any uh, leftovers or reminder then it means that i'll use a formatted string that the entered sorry for typo entered year is entered year let me also print the year is a leap year all right and now uh so let's assume you get a year that exactly divisible by 400 you get a reminder of zero you can straight away say it's a leap year and you are done for example year 2000 if not what you can do is you can write an lsafe or lf whatever you feel like otherwise what i'm going to do is next i'm going to look if this year is divisible by 100 if you remember that's what we are with we discussed earlier and if this is not 
exactly divisible by you know this is not exactly divisible by 100 which means the year is not exactly divisible by 100 then it means you know that can still be a leap year and we have to do one more check but in case if that is exactly divisible by 100 by 100 uh, we can straight away say it's not a leap year and then you know uh, we'll print the message and we will publish the result that it's not a leap year all right so now i'm looking so let's assume the year is not exactly divisible by 100 so the third check we have got is we have to also divide it by four so we i do if i check if is divisible by four and if this is zero <coughs> this means now i know that the year is is the year is a leap year so i'll just print using formatted string the entered year is a leap year all right so far so good all right now so this takes care you know, of finding the leap year, but what if the year is not leap? So as I mentioned, we'll have to write an else part here because if in the third check, we find out that the number is not divisible by 400, then we can also, it's safe to say uh, that the year is not leap. Here we go now now okay so we took care of uh, the division by four part what if what if 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 the division by 100 results in zero or you know can so the number is exactly divisible by 100 uh, so as we discussed it means that the number is the year is again not a leap year so we can safely i'll just copy this i'll just copy a little bit of code from here so i don't have i don't make any mistake typing it all right uh so this takes care of not being being number being exactly divisible by 100 what else is left um the last part is what if the number is not divisible by 400 so we have i think that's taken care of Hold on. all right so i think this should be good enough if i'm not uh, wrong so basically what we are doing is we are looking if the year is uh, divisible by 400 if it is then it's leap year Otherwise, we divide it by 100. If it is not divisible, then we go and check if it is divisible by 4. And by four. If it is, then it's leap year. If not, if it's not, otherwise, we print it's not a leap year. Now, let's test this and see what happens. Mm, all right. So, let's say I entered 2000. And it says the entered year is a leap year, which means it's working fine. Let me test with one more number. How about 2024? It says the entered year is a leap year. Uh, let's check with one non leap year. And it says the entered year is not a leap year. So, uh, one more check. Let's check with the 1900. And it says uh, the entered year is, a, is not a leap year because this is exactly divisible by um, 100. Uh, one more check uh, just to make sure we got everything right. How about I do 2200? And it says it's a not leap year. So let's do a few more uh, tests just to make sure we know. So we know 2000 is a leap year. We got it. The next leap year is 2004. It says it's a leap year. Now let's try with 2005. It says it's not a leap year. Uh, similarly, 2008. It says it's a leap year. Very good. How about 2010? 
is not a leap here so guys you see it's really easy i mean the intention i was trying to uh the uh, the purpose of this video is not to teach you how to code but just to tell you how easy it is and you know how fun it is so um i guess uh keep exploring uh come up with a nice idea try to code and learn new new stuff and in case if you like this video uh do let me know in your comments and please subscribe to to my channel thank you thanks for watching